Nate, right now with 40 mile per hour winds kind of right on the coast of Nicaragua and Honduras, it will eventually here late tonight push back out over open water. Would expect to see a little bit of strengthening, and if it can avoid the Yucatan, perhaps some further strengthening as well, but at least a little bit of land interaction there late Friday night into early Saturday. It's in the Gulf by late Friday night into early Saturday, and then pushes during the day on Saturday fairly quickly to the north up towards New Orleans. Anything on the right side of this is certainly going to be in the threat for uh, tornadoes, heavy wind, uh, and uh, possibly some flooding as well. So folks in the panhandle over towards New Orleans watching this closely, but it's a good 500 miles away from Tampa, so no real issues for us. And then it races off into the mid-Atlantic and northeastern states. The models have certainly trended westward. That's the reason the cone has shifted west. Better agreement than what we were seeing late last night. It's really all thanks to that ridge over Florida and over the southeastern coast helping to keep that just off to our west. So big thank you to that high, which is well to our east right now. You can see that the winds have certainly shifted west as well. We were in that 20 to 30% range yesterday. Now just about zero for seeing tropical storm force winds out of the system. 